What up, everybody? Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Face to Face. I am Josh, and thank you for joining me on episode five of this awesome series. Today is titled Foreigners in Indonesia. So for those of you that know me, you know that I spent a lot of my youth growing up in a, another country. I grew up in America, and I spent about 16, 17 years there. Originally, I was born in Jakarta, but then I came back to Indonesia about five years ago now. It's been six, nope, I don't know the math, 2013. Seven years now, so it's been seven years I've been back to my home country. I've been in this country for seven years now, but I feel like this is not like, because I grew up so much with American culture and then my parents still tried to keep the Indonesian culture, so it was always a mix. It's always actually very interesting because when I was in America, I spent a lot of times with friends that were not Indonesians. We went out for pizza and burgers, and then when I came home, the, my parents were like, here, eat some rice. And then for breakfast, eat some rice. And I, I didn't know what to do with that. I, I didn't like rice, and so I grew to not like rice because then I came back here to Indonesia and everything is rice. You start the day with rice, in the middle of the day it's rice, at the end of the day it's rice. And so I struggled with that. But thankfully there's Grab Food and Gojek where you can order other things than rice. Um, but anyways, today's episode is about uh, my friends who are not from Indonesia. They're from other countries and I want to just talk to them and let them just share their experience about how they've been doing this whole time. By the way, thank you all that have been logging in and joining in so far. We do this every Wednesday just talking about random stuff. Really quick five minute conversations with whoever my guest is for today. Today we've got three awesome guests. One from Chile. Another from the US and A, United States of America. And the third one is from Annyeonghaseyo, South Korea. Really excited for you guys to meet them. And I'm not gonna wait much longer because our first guest is from Chile. Do you guys know where Chile is? Chile is in South America. It is a, they speak Spanish there. My next guest actually, he's gonna tell you how long he's been here, but he wants to do this in Indonesian because his English is not, uh, you know. So, I'm gonna get straight to it. So here we go. We're gonna invite my first guest. There he is! Hey. Buenas tardes, si sabana, amigo. Como estas? Muy buenas tardes. Muy bien, y tú? Muy bien, gracias. Terima kasih, temanku Bato. Guys, temanku Bato mm. ini, uh, he's going to introduce us. Pato, siapa anda? Please, introduksi ke teman-teman yang lagi nonton sekarang. Saya Patricio, aku dari Chile. Udah lama tinggal di Indonesia. Aku dulu mantan pemain bola. Wow. Aku sepuluh, sepuluh tahun di Indonesia, tapi di Malaysia juga. Sekarang, coach workout, free litics. Wih, wih. Pato, udah berapa lama di Indonesia? Sepuluh tahun kira-kira. Oh my gosh. Lama banget, yeah. bro. Sepuluh tahun this años. Si? Yes, 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 Anios. I'm working on it. Now, Pato juga selain uh, pernah pemain football juga, tapi sekarang kamu pelatih ya, coach. Coba jelasin itu ngapain kamu pelatih coach di rumah itu? Ya, yeah, saya sekarang coach freeletics workout. Tapi freeletics itu kita olahraga tanpa alat. Jadi cuma pakai berat dari badan kita sendiri. Mm. It, itu bagus buat turunin berat badan dan bentuknya badan. Ya mau badan bentuknya keren. Ini pas buat kalian. Gitu. Free Soalnya selama COVID ini kan gym gym tutup ya, jadi susah banget kalau kita mau workout. Tapi saya ketemu Benar. Pato dan dia ada program di mana kita freeletics di rumah dan keren banget. Soalnya gue beneran merasa ben- kebentuk banget badan gue. Terima kasih Pato. Pato selain lo Benar. juga melakukan freeletics, gue dengar dengar nih lo adalah bintang di TikTok. Ngapain tuh TikTok? Oh my God, seribu berapa banyak followers tuh TikTok tuh? Mm-hmm. Sebenarnya isan-isan awalnya tapi ya disuka bikin video banyak teman kenal dari situ ya balik juga kenal murid dari situ. Jadi wow. bagus buat kerja aku. Dan itu saya mau jelasin itu dari gym. Sebenarnya kalau orang mau badan keren, sehat, gak perlu sebenarnya ke gym. Katanya banyak alasan kan waktu eh, abis habis kerja gak bisa ke gym karena macet itu kamu rasain sendiri selesai kerja datang ke tempat kamu freelitics bisa di ruangan sendiri gak perlu ke gym gak perlu hilang waktu datang dari kerja 15-20 menit cukup wow 
Amazing banget. Benar, Terima kan? kasih Pato. Kamu Pato terakhir kamu pertanyaan. Rasain itu, kan? Ya, gue rasain banget bro. Oh my god, kita hmm. kerja, kita work out selama sejam itu udah keringetan banget parah. Tapi bener-bener lihat nih efeknya gue selama sebu- seti- seming, apa, setahun di gym dan cuma seminggu sama Pato itu keren banget. Jadi kalau kalian mau uh, private training hmm. sama Pato, kalian kontak aja di at Pato Patricio. Pato, karena topiknya hari ini adalah me- foreigners in Indonesia. Lo boleh jelasin nggak okay. selama 10 tahun di Indonesia bagi- bagaimana nih? Uh, pengalamannya, how do you, gimana rasanya di Indonesia nih? Lo tinggal di sini, do, lo dulunya dari Chile, tapi sekarang di Indonesia, gimana rasanya? Ya, awalnya sebenarnya saya tinggal di Medan, sangat sangat kaget awal awalnya karena agama beda, bahasa beda, eh, seharian kalian beda kan dari dari makanan. Awalnya aku gak bisa makan sama sekali di sini. Kalau makan di sini terlalu pedas, kalau gak ke rumah sakit ya dia harus makan McDonald, Pizza Hut. <laughs> Sekarang kamu tahu aku bisa makan apa? Ya sampai bakso juga bisa kan? Oh, come on. <laughs> Tapi... Dia kemarin. Hmm? Iya, makan Tapi... makan apa lagi? Makan soto lo, lo suka makan bakso juga apa lagi lo makannya sekarang? Sekarang suka banget makanan Indonesia, soto karena seperti soto Betawi di, di negara aku gak ada. Banyak makanan <laughs> yang gak ada. Atau buah, buah di Indonesia banyak bagus seperti naga. Atau apa namanya itu? Yang kalian gak suka baunya? Uh, durian? Durian. Kalau aku suka, <laughs> enak. Kalau pete, yeah. belum. Kalau pete, Makanan belum. Makanan yang paling aku. kangen apa, Pato, dari Chile? Dari Chile, itu namanya porotos. Itu kacang merah sebenarnya. Tapi di sana hmm. dimakan dengan cara beda di sini. Di sini belum, belum ketemu wow. sebenarnya. Luar Tapi, biasa. Pato, terima kasih. Terima kasih banget bro, itu, itu waktu kita untuk ini. Teman-teman, kalau kalian mau workout PT Freeletics dari Pato Patricio, kalian ikut uh, kunjungi aja ke Instagram dia. Pato, gracias, muchas gracias, señor. Hasta luego. Oke, okay, amigo. Sukses. Bye-bye. Here we go, my second guest. Second... She's coming on. Give a warm welcome to... Pastor Sarah Siebert. <laughs> Sarah, I can't believe I pressed the wrong button. That is so embarrassing. Oh my Whoa, gosh. You quit it right before my time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're going to keep going uh, with our second guest. Everybody, welcome Sarah Siebert. Sarah, give yourself an introduction to however many viewers we still have on this live broadcast. Who are you? Also, everybody tuning in, thank you for hanging tough with us. <laughs> We out here. Um, yes, my name is Sarah Sieber. I'm from the great America. Um, it's on a struggle bus right now, but we love America. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, I'm from America, living in Jakarta, and my name is Sarah Charlotte Sieber, and my social security number is just- Not kidding. gonna say, censored. <laughs> Sarah Siebert, you have been, so you obviously were born in America, grew up in America, but you are now here in Indonesia. How long have you been in this beautiful country of Indonesia? Oh my gosh, how long has it been, Josh? I feel like you and I met each other back in 2012. That's right. So I, initially, I initially moved to Jakarta in 2012, and then I was here for four years. I taught at Espeja, shout out to Kola Polita. Hey. <laughs> no promo, promo. <laughs> Um, and I taught there for four years and then I left for about a year and a half and then I actually came back to Indonesia and I'm now working at the collective church. Ooh, so awesome. Now, Sarah, yes, it is a struggle bus right now in America, but I'm sure there's already still so many great things going on in there. After the eight years that you've been here, actually, side note, uh, you actually did a little tour in Africa. Tour? Is that what the word is? You actually went to Africa for like a year. You even did this thing on your Instagram, 365 days in Africa. So every day for 365 days, she posted a photo from her adventures in Africa. So incredible. So you are a worldwide girl. Like, uh... Uh, yeah, Mr. Worldwide. You're Mrs. Worldwide. But Sarah Siebert, you know, you know, why? He's Mr. Worldwide. I'm Mrs. Worldwide. You know what I'm saying? But like, why? Why are you so international? Like, you know, a lot of people in America, they're so comfortable. America's all good. But you're choosing to go all over the world. You've even got some plans. Your next journey is coming up pretty soon to another country. So Sarah, why? What has been going on? What, what made you all of a sudden go decide, hey, I'm going to see what's out there? 
I know, I, I feel like, yeah, that's a very good question. And I agree. I think a lot of people in America, it's hard to like pop the initial like bubble <laughs> to like get out um, of like that comfortability. Um, but I think for me, Josh, what really like initially popped the bubble and like what made me international was my dad is actually a pastor. And so when I was younger, um, my first international trip was actually when I was 11. And we went on a family missions trip to Africa. And I think ever since then, there was like no going back, bro. I'm like, what? There's like all of this amazing, beautiful diversity, different cultures, different people around the world. And I needed it. I needed it to be in my life. Shout out to everybody on here. I love you all. I love it. Sarah, after you've been here for eight years in Indonesia, what is one of the top one thing? Just give me one of your favorite things about Indonesia. Oh my gosh, Josh, that's so hard. I love everything about Indonesia. Um, okay, can I can I say like to my, to my top three? I'm gonna do my top three. Top three, go. Top three, my first is the people. Indonesian people are amazing and the most friendliest people in the world. Shout out to all my Indos. Number two, Martha Bach all day, every day in my mouth. <laughs> so Martha, Josh, come on, the chocolate with the peanuts, bro. No, that is, it, it is crazy. sin in a box. It is so sinful. It is so disgusting. It is. And your it's third crazy. thing is. Give me a tongue emoji if you're out there, people, and you love Martha Bach like me. I know I have Martha Bach people. No. So Martha Bach is number two. And number three is how Indonesia, in, in Southeast Asia, in Asia, it's so easy to travel to all the different countries. Like it's so cheap and easy and accessible. So those are my top three. Well, boom. Hala Rupia. All right, last question. America, over there on the other side of the world, what is one slash two slash three slash however many you want to give thing you miss about America? Ooh, things I miss about America. To be honest, okay, let me say the three things. I'm just going to go with the number three people. I'm feeling it today. Three things I miss. First things first, the food. I know people are like, the food is delicious in Indonesia. I know it, but when you grow up in America with Taco Bell, chalupas in your mouth, it's hard. Uh, Taco <laughs> Bell. So I just miss food. Taco Bell, Burger Bell, all those good things. Secondly, I miss my family. It is hard yep. to be away from Come on. my friends and my siblings. So I'd say my loved ones. And the third one would be not as crazy machet as Jakarta. I miss being able to drive without being stuck in traffic for five hours. That's for real. Come on, that's real. All right, Sarah, thank you so much for sharing with us about your journeys in Indonesia so far and where the world is taking you to next. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Sarah, yeah. for joining today. I'm going to press the correct button today and not end this live stream. Take care. Stick on, people. Thanks, Josh. And for those of you that are just tuning in, Earlier, I pressed the wrong button and ended the live cast, so that was wrong. But we're going to go on to our final guest. So we had our first guest, Pato from Chile. He's now been here for 10 years, I think he said. He's uh, for athletics instructor. He used to be a professional football. And when I say professional football player, in this side of the world, we mean the one that you kick the ball with. Second, we have Sarah Siebert, who is from the Collective Church. She's a pastor. She's been traveling all around the world. She's here now, been here for the past eight years, going on to new adventures pretty soon. And finally... My good friend, I had to get him on here if he's here. There he is. Guys, hope this is one you guys will, if you haven't met him, you, ha you guys have to meet him. Connecting, logging on. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hello. Ian, how are you, bro? How are you doing, doing Ian? Good. Ian, guys, is a good friend of mine from South Korea. He's got that South Korean face. Even he dresses like a South Korean man that you would see in those South <laughs> Korean dramas. Ian, yeah, can I'm, you I'm please introduce sure yourself to work. our viewers? Hello, hi. I am I am a Korean boy, Ian Hano Kim. Um, I, I was raised in. I mean, I was born in South Korea, then moved to the U.S. Started there a bit, and then now I am in Indonesia. And I heard his name, guys. If you didn't catch that, Ian Hyunug Kim. Yes, that's right. That's a real that's Korean right. name right there. Now, Ian, <laughs> how can you just share? Uh, so today, our topic is foreigners in Indonesia. How long have you been in this country? Um, I've been here a little bit less than two years. Yeah, not what? not like 
uh, Pato was here for 10 years and Sarah has been here what eight years yeah I'm, I'm, I'm pretty new here so two years to tell that. me Ian how has your experience in Indonesia been for the past two years it's been it's been great I mean I've had ups and downs because it's been it's been different in everything like Pato said in in culture uh, religion food and everything but I mean thanks to thanks to my friends who were always kind of having my bags you know I was able to go through it easily yeah bro come on friends are important community is so important and they're Ian, awesome you're I hung awesome, out with man. Ian this past weekend and I love hanging out with Ian because we always go to authentic Korean barbecues mm -hmm. I'm not talking chungiwa guys we're talking so to good. a place somewhere in Wijaya that I don't even know but he comes in there and like they all speak Korean to each other and he's oh my gosh oh wait 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 Ian I, I'm, I'm spoiling this I'm spoiling this but in our future episode a future episode of this you are actually a fantastic cook by the way ladies get yourself a man that can cook my goodness uh speaking of ladies ian's wonderful wife is on here right now emmy give a shout out emmy they There's have been emmy married here. and they are awesome ian and emmy ian uh we're talking about you've been here for two years bro but you grew up in south Korea. Uh -huh. can you tell me what is two or three things that you miss from south korea mm. I guess I can say one of them is transportation. I mean, in Indonesia, you can now get the Grab, Gojek bike. You can go anywhere easily, but I'm more used to taking subways, taking buses. I mean, I'm not saying there are no subways or, or um, buses in Indonesia, but I'm, I'm more used to it. I know where I'm going. I don't, I don't make any mistakes. like going into a opposite direction you know yeah <laughs> and, uh, and I miss some street food yeah yeah I, I haven't tried any street food here in Jakarta but man I, I am I, like like you were saying I am so into food um, yeah I make I sometimes make myself those street food because I miss them so much oh man that's incredible guys he makes street food oh my gosh <laughs> so I went over to his house one time and he made kimchi fried rice like yeah you cannot I don't think you can get that in any restaurant here so delicious we're actually gonna do a real face-to-face -face pretty soon where he's gonna cook and it's gonna be awesome Ian one last thing I'll be on give my me your favorite thing so far about Indonesia other than your wife because that's a given what is oh, one man. thing that you like about Indonesia? I, I mean, there are so many, but but one thing, if I can say, is 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 the people. Like yeah. Sarah was saying, like people is number one. Like just, um, I was saying I had ups and downs, but whenever I had downs, there are so many people, like friends, who are always taking care of me and asking, like Ian, what can I do for you? What, what do you need? And and with with those friends, I was able to go through those hard, tough time with my wife. And amen, yeah, she says amen. Our friends are the best, literally. I can't find any better friends from anywhere. Wow, that's incredible, Ian. Thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate you sharing. Can you just leave us with something in Korean for all of our Korean friends? Can you give us a goodbye or a see you later in Korean? Uh, 저를 해주신 여러분 다들 감사합니다. Good bye. Uh, Hamida, thank you so much, Ian. Thank All right, you. bro. See you soon. Thank you, bro. Come, Hamida. And that, my friends, was my good friend Ian. Such a great guy. If you guys don't know him, follow him at I am at I am Ian. He's with his wife here, Emmy. Emmy's from the U.S. They're incredible. Love all my guests today. Pato from Chile. He's my, I feel like I'm gonna hire him to be my personal trainer soon. But during COVID, we did some home workouts. And honestly, I'm, I'm not actually, I don't think I'm going back to the gym, guys. I'm just gonna go work out and like do what he taught me. Really, really great freeletics inter, uh, instructor. Also, viral TikTok star. I'm not even joking you. He is viral in TikTok, has a crap ton of views for being a bule white guy but speaking really, really good Indonesian. So, that's Pato. Second, we had Sarah Sieber, 
really, really awesome. Sarah is from America, and she's been here for about eight years now. She's now a pastor at the Collective Church. And also, she went to Africa for a bit, but she's gone international, as we said, Mrs. Worldwide. So you guys can check out at Sarah Seeds. And finally, we had Ian. Ian Kim is from South Korea. He's with his wife here, Emmy, and been here for the past two years. Really, really great guy, really amazing cook. And yes, I did spoil it for those that caught it in a future episode. We will be doing a cook with Ian. He's gonna cook, I'm just gonna eat because I mean, that's what talk show is all about. I mean, I'll talk and he cooks and then I'll eat and I'll even talk some more and give you guys some. So if you're actually wanting to see that, leave it in the comments or send me a message, Josh, yes, I wanna see Ian the cook. Or if you guys have any other ideas or if you even wanna be on the next episode of Face to Face, let me know. That is all the time that we have today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am so sorry. I pressed the end live button earlier. That was so terrible. But anyways, thanks for all the hearts. Thanks for logging in. And I hope to see you guys again sometime soon. Have a great rest of the week. And I'll see you guys next week on Face to Face. Take care, guys.